cousins, I am here with a collective reading on YouTube. I don't have that many of these, but I'm having some because I just feel like I want to connect more. I'm trying to get more into the rhythm of coming on here. So if you're new to my page, welcome. Come on in. Hey, y'all. Where's the... But if you've been here before, you already know what I'm going to say. If you don't want to hear what I got to say on my page, take your finger like this and scroll that finger like that. And I'm going to shoot way up there somewhere. And you're going to have to do like this to try to find me. But you ain't going to do that because you don't want to hear what I had to say in the first place. So again, if you don't want to hear or see what it is I have to say on my page, take your finger like this and scroll that thing up like that. And you will not hear see anything over here. And it is just that simple. Okay. Now, I want to do whatever comes up and comes out. I'm just going to read it. Now, I got these cards right here. The Mystic Beauties Tarot. Easy Tarot, whatever. And it's got like, if it comes out in reverse, it'll tell you what it's say. If it comes out in upright, it'll tell you what it's say. I'm going to read the cards because I've been using these all day. And boy, have there been some stories. Now, if you don't know, sometimes when I'm channeling energy, I start like, like my breathing start acting stupid. So just bear with me. I'll, I'll hear it because there's a lot of messages that I be channeling sometimes. I, I'll come in one time and then I might just stare off in space, look stupid. Just hold on. I ain't froze. Just hold on. I might put a little finger or something like that and let you know. But cousin, this energy I hear, let me tell y'all. Asses is getting handed to him. And I told, I've been warning you. I've been telling you. I've been telling you. And, and some of it been good. Some of it been bad. I'm, I just want to see what these cards from the say. So I was like, let me just do a journal. Okay, so. Somebody's feeling emotionally low. A creative block. Emotionally immature, irresponsible, and manipulative. Like... Somebody just feeling real bad about a situation. Bad memories, feeling out of place, dwelling too much on the past, stuck in a rut, memory loss. Like, they can't remember everything that happened about a situation, but it's like, whatever they do remember about it is all bad. Like, somebody's painted a perception, but now they're seeing that it's, um, somebody's being selfish and one-sided, um, having one-sided clarity, condescending or patronizing help. It's like, Somebody feeling bad about creating a story or something about somebody else and painting it one-sided. And it's like they done made somebody look real bad and now they want to talk to this person. Um, financially inept, obsessed with wealth and status. So this person is saying, you know, basically, I chose my money over... I, somebody chose money over love. Somebody chose their financial status. Somebody chose what it looked like to everybody else over what they really wanted. They chose pentacles over cups. Um, now they have imbalance, excess, discord, lack of term of vision, haste and frustration. It's like they can't even get, they can't tip of themselves. They really, they like, oh, I can't believe I did that. But now it's like a romance, declaration of love, proposal, love, arrival, in love, night, shining armor. Somebody want to come into somebody and offer a cup of love. Somebody wants, they're like, I know I picked the wrong person the last time, but I know I won't pick the wrong person this time. I want you. But it's kind of like fucked up because you picked somebody over the person that you really truly love. So it's like, damn. You made them feel second as fuck. Financial control, stability, holding on to possession, money or losing money, mean and stingy. And then you held back from this person. You held back from them. You didn't, you, you wouldn't even, oh, somebody just was a, a motherfucker. Somebody was mean to somebody else because they wanted to chase their money and they created up shit about another person to make them look like the bad guy, but really that person had never done nothing to them type shit. So now they're in introspection and solitude, reflecting the inner self, searching for self, 
So they then retreated to meditate and they don't want in the hermit mode. And you know the story of the hermit. And you know what? This thing came up like three readings, right? The hermit was the emperor who had everything, but then he lost it all due to his selfishness and his greed and all that shit and trying to be the top head nigga in charge. And then he had to go in and just kind of check himself. Spiritual guidance, authority, tradition, um, structure, and conformity, order, spiritual incitement, wisdom. Like, you've been having to get God on your side. Like, you done had to talk to somebody. Like, Father God, come down because you wanted this happy relationship, good completion, and good fortune, um, harmony, gratitude, being aligned with, in tune with nature, the Ten of Cups. You're like, God, I gave up everything for this shit. Please fix it. <laughs> Please fix it. Oh, my God. This person is like, no, what the fuck did I do? Seven of Cups from um, Fantasy and Illusion, Wishful Thinking. You were, you... You kept your options over. You picked the wrong shit. It's like whatever was shiny and all that glitters ain't gold. So now it's like a fear of the unknown, lack of planning and decision and holding back. Somebody's holding back from you because of delay and holding off frustration, being forced to move on because you didn't communicate. You broke communication and now you're scared that somebody's not going to come towards you. Overindulgence, being smug, compliance, greed, dissatisfaction, dissatisfied materialism. I told you, you pick money. You pick money. You were stubborn as fuck. You didn't want to change. You probably ghosted this person. And they didn't even do nothing to you. But to everybody else, you made it seem like this person was like the scum of the fucking earth. You really did somebody wrong. Whoever this energy is that I'm reading for, they could have did you wrong, cousin. People be acting how they be acting, damn it. Now they're going through failure, stagnation, need to finish what you started, lack of movement. I swear, I, I got this card in the Aries and the Pisces reading, and I think Sagittarius as well. The same way. The world, you, somebody just turns a bunch of people's worlds upside down with power action manifesting like okay so somebody is trying to somebody's trying to manifest somebody back into their lives it's like they passionate about it now they know they they about to run in on a damn horse i came in with my dick in my hand don't even leave it with my foot in your ass be cool <laughs> like you came in because look some secret is out the moon is in reverse at the bottom of the deck some secret done came out. You done found out the truth about some shit. And you're unmotivated and feeling well, way down, poor timing, adjusting, rethinking about, it says delayed need to adjust and rethink because you done picked the wrong shit. So now you're like, oh my God, I do not want this right here. You might be looking towards, y'all, Somebody want to go back to their baby mama or something. Got queen of cups here in the bottom of the um, deck. Somebody that's nurturing and loving, but they feel detached from them because they've been in this devil energy that they just came out of. But they've been open to a new perspective, released in freedom, knowing the way forward. They, they open to a new perspective now. They know something different. After pride has been lost, somebody stole something from them, a theft. Um, disappointment and despair after going like I said you hurt somebody and somebody hurt you but the way they hurt you was 10 times worse than how you hurt somebody else so karma was served to your ass for what you did to this person because of an imbalance between work and family you probably walked away from your family for somebody for that damn money hungry ass bitch. Strife, arguments, tension, betrayal, loss, competition, no win. So this person done dug a hole for they self too. Both y'all over there just going through y'all little bullshit ass karma. But now you trying to have some bravery and courage in a conflict and sudden action. Somebody did something real suddenly, um, competitive, fighting. Somebody was whew, spirit, slow down, please. 
So basically, you chose somebody for some money. You walked away from love. This person used you for the money and manipulated the situation against you and another person that you walked away that you truly love. Your heart, your heart loved that person, but you made yourself hate that person so that you could keep this money. So then the bitch that helped you get the money took the money from you and messed up a relationship you had with you could have with your baby mama. You could have had children with that person. So now, because they was mad about some shit, they rushed in and did some bullshit that's done pushed you away from them. And now you're like, okay, I see where the fuck I went wrong. I'm I need to go and apologize, but you scared to apologize. Issues and problems, not dealing with hopelessness, severe depression and torment. You can't even go to sleep at night. You fucked up about this shit. But this person that you left, the one that you loved, is consistent. Good, material, wealth, self-sufficient. You're seeing the beauty in this person. You're finally, like this part, the other person had you blinded. Then you got the death card right here. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio, resistance to change, unable to move on obstacles, lack of hope. You're so scared. So you've created these boundaries, defensive. You stand on your ground. Because mm. you just um, block everything off because you fucked up. Being overly cynical and opinionated. A tyrant. Selfish, vengeful. Bias, manipulative, and abusive. You were so vengeful. You wanted to hurt this person so bad that you fell on your own knife. So now you have to take authority. You need to have leadership and self-control. And look at this. The emperor, and guess who's behind him? The empress in reverse. You got you gotta this you gotta get rid of this. You let your empress down. You chose materialism over love. And now a tower moment in reverse here. Imprisonment. Fear of change. This is Aries and Scorpio energy. Something I'm I'm telling you. You let your empress down. Mm, let me get another deck to clarify this one. Because you just did the fucking most. And now you're seeing the mistakes. You know, everybody makes mistakes, but this has been going on for a long ass time. This could have been like, I see 13, 13 on the clock when I looked up here. This could have been like um, 13 months, 13 days, 13 years, hell. This could have been going on for a long ass time. That you've been lying about how you feel. You've been lying about the fact that you love this other person. You chose materialism and you lost everything. The, the, the very thing you was chasing, you lost it all. You had it all and you lost it. Mm, 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 pull the tape thing. Look at this sneaky bitch. Look at her. And the two, look, she done took everything away from you. The two things that she couldn't took, take that stood strong, they just stood back. They just, she couldn't, she couldn't take them. Uh-oh, that can go two ways. Take it as it resonates. Maybe she can make you lose them or maybe she made you lose them. Because look, she was jealous, envious, the queen of cups in reverse. You can look at it as her being a jealous, envious individual that just wanted to take from you. And, and, and oh my gosh, look, we had this came out too. We had this came out too. Your ass is depressed now. You don't know which way to go now. You're hurt, you're lost, incontent. 
Look, because you had to walk away or somebody walked away from you. They had to leave you alone. Mm, 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 mm. Look, three of wands. Now they just waiting on their ships to come in. They just moving on about their life. That it is what it is. Cause you you you've hurt somebody by doing that. You hurt somebody. Cause look, they're in the three of wands and you stuck now. You're in the two of wands in reverse. You trying to figure out how to get back to them and they ain't even thinking about you. Cause look, they had to have strength. They had to just be like, you know what? I got to move on. I got to let this person go because I don't want to be in this third party shit. I don't know why this bitch so mad. I don't know what the fuck wrong with her. I don't bother these people. And she just been trying to hurt me. That like, cuz, what? And now this person, this man is looking back over his life, looking at all the shit she done did, done flip shit upside down with her crazy ass and done took all of his damn money. And if it ain't just a money, it might be abundant. Some type, whatever you consider to be abundant. This motherfucker done had her hand flipping that shit upside down. Look. Look at these side by side. She just been flipping that shit upside down to he ain't had number one quarter. She made him lose that too. And look, temperance fell up under temperance. Now he has to get, you know, balance things out. He's left to balance things out. Look at her. Got one foot in the water, one foot on the land. Pouring into this cup and that cup. Like, listen, I got to fix this shit. I don't know what I did, but damn it. I got to get up out of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because look, oh, see? You was too busy trying to play tit for tat and get somebody back and hide the way you really felt about them. You, you hid your true love. You... Didn't communicate with the, the person that you really love. Look, the king and the queen of cups are on the table. You knew you were supposed to be with the one that you love, but you caused distance in between y'all. You caused distance in between y'all. Trying to be a damn tyrant, chasing after money. Now you ain't, look, three kings on the table. The only king that ain't on the table is the king of wands. But all of them upside down. You chose money. You chose to be a tyrant, so you chose to give up love. Mm. But now you're trying to... <laughs> the magician out here twice, you are definitely trying to manifest this back. Or somebody been praying for you. Me four more, please. I'm gonna shuffle it up. Cause they ain't trying to pop out. Let's see. Look. Nope. And then they're gonna fly all over the floor and shit. Hold on, y'all. That's why I did all of that. Look, it's trying, somebody, he, now he trying to manifest the strength to rush in with you and tell you the truth. Now he want to come and talk it. Like, God, give me the strength. I don't know what to do. Because he has clarity now. He is not in a mental prison anymore. He is not confused anymore. And look, he was probably confused because somebody was probably putting something on his ass. Some type of Sex magic or some shit. Might have been when a person put some in your damn food if they cooked. Damn, dudes, you gotta watch that. If a bitch eat out all the time and all of a sudden she wanna cook you something to eat, I don't know. Cause look, I'm telling you, somebody's definitely going towards Scorpio because this is big Scorpio energy. You wanna end it with them and start right a new beginning with this other person. And look, oh my God, I just noticed this. This is why I love the cards. Whoever this person was, look, you see this dead man up under him with this crown knocked off. This bald head, it could have been a man or woman or whatever, but death is coming in to stump on this motherfucker right here and help these people right here. And there is a child involved. 
there's definitely a child involved. The child had the rose. And the thing is, everybody else is looking. The lady, she looking sad. The other lady look like she praying, but the child got a gift. So somebody fucked with the wrong child. That child has a gift for death, for transformation. And you fuck with her and look, Ace of Wands, and she popped your ass with this stick. That child might be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but oh, I just realized, look, you tried to get them, but motherfucker, they got you. Checkmate. Now the burden is about to be over. Somebody, oh my God, this is intense, Tanny. Where the fuck? Let me see what this psychic tarot deck talking about. Hold on. Let's just see. Because that was a lot going on right there. So, recap. So, dude loves somebody, but he chose somebody else for some money or materialism. So, then that bitch manipulated the situation Got everything she wanted out of him and made him lose everything. So now he see what the fuck she did. And now he trying to manifest getting his shit back. But he wouldn't have seen it if she wouldn't have did something that involves a child. Somebody did something that involved a child and they fuck with a gifted child and spirit did not like that. And so God brought out this fucking magic wand and was like, ding dong, the witch is dead. And he is about to take care of them motherfuckers. That's, that's clear as day. See, they thought, and I'm telling you, the last thing is the very last two cards are the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Wands on the top of it, right? Remember I told you the only card that wasn't out here was the King of Wands. All them other kings was out here. So he's just going to, he ain't even got to be involved no more. Could be a um, Aries Leo Sagittarius man. He ain't even got to be involved no more because he don't know how to speak up for himself because look at what he, how he turned out to be. He chased money and he was cynical and shit and then he let down love. So God ain't finna let him fuck it up. So God was like, don't worry about it. I got it. I got it. So this other person thought they had a magic wand on him and then God just popped their ass with it. So somebody about to get popped by God. Somebody about to get their ass popped. And that's all because of the date. They was all right. They was getting away with shit. But when they fuck with this child, when they involved this child, they fucked up. Bottom of the deck. Conflict and defeat. They fucked up. When they fuck with this child, they fucked up. That's the overall energy of this whole shit. Now they got to deal with discontent and boredom. The universe is on, didn't I tell you? They on their ass. Accelerated motion, this shit is happening now. I'm talking about shooting star type shit. This is the only card that flipped over like this. This is the way I see it, so I'm going to see it with y'all. Baby, sit back and wait. You going to read about it in the paper? You going to see that shit on the motherfucking news? But somebody is about to go through conflict and defeat because of some shit that... And honey, that shit ugly. Hold on, let me get y'all some more because I can't just leave it like that. I can't just leave it like that. Hold up. Let's get some of these moon... Moonology cards. Oh. Y'all saw that? I'm going to look at them, but I'm going to put it back in the shelf. It says, your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. And communication is key. I'm, t I'm, t boy, I'm telling you, didn't I tell you he, he need to communicate so he can break this shit out for him, but he won't say nothing because he's scared because he know them fucked up and chose the wrong shit. Oh, my God. I cannot make this shit up. A time to give rather than take. 
See, you was all about your money, sir, and it got took all away from you. So if spirit is urging you to do something different, you need to damn do it. New moon in Virgo. Guess what season we about to enter into? We're going into Virgo season. This says new moon in Virgo. This shit is about to happen. You got to make something right, sir. It's time to take action. Another new moon, but this is in Aries. Could be dealing with an Aries. Or you could be dealing with a Virgo, but it's two new moons. You have a new start. And we are under new moon energy. The full moon just, oh my God. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. When you see mute, what it mean? Hush. You being quiet because you scared the waters is trouble, but nothing ain't set in stone. You need to open your fucking mouth. Pull one more. I said when. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Show the world a full moon. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. You got to fix this. Hold your vision. You know you need to fix it. You need to fix it. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. This stuff could have went down in Cancer season. Whatever happened could have happened in Cancer season, but it could have been the thing that broke the mold. And all, overall, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Could have been dealing with a Gemini. You could have seen somebody being two-faced. Look at that. See how that one person got their eyes open, the other person got their eye closed, but it's the same woman, turned different ways. You could have been dealing with a two-faced motherfucker that caused all these problems in your life. So, that's crazy as fuck. I think that's it, y'all. Let's see what numerology you're talking about. And I'll let that be it. Messages of clarity and truth, please. Messages of clarity and truth. Physical activity. Some of y'all might need to work. Oh, look at this. This is crazy to me. I always see stuff like this. The first card is 67. The next card is 57. So you need to take a, a take t drop it down 10 notches. Physical activity and teaching and learning. Okay, you need to listen instead of thinking you know everything. You need to work out. You need to, to get, somebody can teach you something. You need to take 10 steps back, 67 to 57, okay? You need to take a step down. Learn something from somebody. You ain't got to know every damn thing. 63, parenting. You might need to make amends with your children. You might need to pay attention to your children. Something dealing with your damn children. And 77, look, I got 57, 67, and 77, spirituality. You need to get in tune with the universe because whether you want to or not, God on your ass, in the bottom of the deck, love, the one thing you gave up first, you chose money and you gave up on love. And this is, I told you, this is my last deck. So this is the last, very last card. It is the overall energy of everything. You chose money over love. And that's the one thing you need. You should have chose love. I don't know who this message is for, but love is the absolute most powerful weapon ever created. Love is better than money. Love gives you power to get the money and the respect. But without love, you're going to build on a false foundation and you're going to lose everything that you thought you wanted and desired. You need to incorporate love in this situation and you need to stop being a fucking punk ass and go do what you need to do because you don't hurt some people and they deserve vindication. You was wrong. You need to fix it. 